Hi guys, okay, I'm on my way to work and I am currently 15 weeks and three days pregnant, so we're coming on to week 16, which is amazing. So I'm into week 16, second trimester, and I just thought I'd give you a little update. I can only do this whilst I'm driving, which is a bit annoying because I've got such a hectic day today. Um, and sorry if my glasses are skew with one of the kids sat on them, so hopefully I don't look too horrendous. Anyhow, eating wise, <clears throat> that's panned out quite a bit now. I'm back to having three small meals a day. I sort of have my little whole meal toast in the morning with a banana and then um, I sort of graze on fruit and I think that's probably because of the hot weather at the moment. It's quite warm, but I'm definitely not eating as much. I'm trying to eat a little bit of bread though, so I've got a bit of energy in that. So yeah, I'm back to sort of three meals a day and snacking in between on fruit if I can, although I have got a real sweet tooth with this one. Um, bit like I did with my daughter but also I did have that sweet tooth with my last which was a boy so I'm not reading too much into that I've got midwife appointment on Thursday where she should do the heartbeat and yeah I should find out a little bit more a bit of bloods and things so also symptom wise a lot of CM um, I don't want to go TMI but a lot of CM um, it's got quite bad this week so I think that's all normal and I'm feeling a lot of tummy achy stretchiness and I think I look properly pregnant now which is good because I'm four months now 16 weeks you know so all relevant but yeah I have noticed a lot the other day I sort of thought oh my god is that tinged with pink but it wasn't luckily I, I think I was seeing things where I'd come out the garden it was so bright and sunny um, you know and so you must check that ladies if you've got that as long as it's not foul smelling it's got to be like a creamy color or a white color that's all perfectly normal but obviously if it's brown or red or or um red uh pink or anything like that tinged with blood or stain sort of keep an eye on it and if it sort of is two panty liners worth you must go to the doctor's or go to antenatal and get it checked because that happened to me with my last I had like a tinged pink panty liner and I let it go for a couple of hours and it happened again and I went up to the hospital and I needed a, an injection of anti it's antibodies because I'm rhesus negative so it depends you might not need that unless you've got the rhesus factor but if it is tinged with blood it can mean you know that there's a few problems you might be a bit dehydrated it could be anything so last time I had that twice and each time I need an injection so it is worth keeping an eye on what's happening down below but as I say that's a proper increase this last week um, yeah and I don't feel sick anymore so that's good I might get a little bit peaky at night but not much and all food tastes quite nice now especially chocolate I'm not on to dark chocolate I've still off of that but it was lovely yesterday I had a lovely like bag of Maltesers for a treat and it was really good so I'm hoping this is my burst of energy so yeah all good there's not much more to report I've got a very very spotty back so face clear but spotty back and I think that's everything for now so all going good I'm very tired still but I've got lots of energy in the day so I think it is onwards and upwards so yeah so we're in week 16 and all going good thanks for listening and I'll update you next week bye